Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be going over the best way to train using free play. Before games, you get to use the free play by going into the training, and there's a lot of things you can do to improve. Uh, the first thing I would do is make sure you have Bacchus Mod downloaded. Uh, Bacchus Mod is a plugin for a plugin for Rocket League, kind of like Alpha Console, um, and it allows you to pretty much use uh, the training to your advantage to take full advantage really of the free play um, you don't have the ball reset so when I make a goal like you just saw earlier and right now you actually don't have the ball reset so you're able to continue to play and maximize your uh, potential um, training so really it just it all around helps you out uh, and it makes you kind of just all around better at uh, free play training so you get more attempts in and one of the best features about um, one of the best features about Bacchus Mod is the fact that you're able to change what you're doing. So your D-pad is a way to edit what your uh, D-pad buttons will do for you in Bacchus Mod. So right here we have um, the menu. If you hit F2 when you have Bacchus Mod installed, you're able to change a few settings. We'll just go over a few of them as there are a ton of settings to change. So there's an air dribble mode. Um, this sets exactly what you see here. Sets the configuration to air dribble mode down or one for roll away, left or two for bounce away, right or three for bounce two, up or four for roll two. So that just kind of shows that's the mode you're going to get for air dribble mode. For normal mode, you're going to get down equals a pass, left equals a rebound, right equals a roll two, and four. Uh, place the ball on top of your roof, which is your head or your top of your car. Uh, Python mode is down for wall reads, two for ceiling shots, three for practice awkward catches, four for back wall clears. Wall hit mode, right for right or three to shoot wall hit, four to change wall hit mode. And then you have the no variance, very low variance, low variance, medium variance, and high variance. Basically just change your custom this changes your custom training hits to kind of change on their own. So when you're going to a tr custom training, you can try to change it up a little bit by hitting one of these, and they will actually rotate sides where you're going up for the hit, and they'll rotate um, kind of where the ball goes on the tr custom training. So it won't always take the same path, and it may kind of variate where it's going. So that's the quick settings that you can mess around with. There's some free play stuff here you can you can mess around with as well. Nothing too spectacular, but then you can go to ranked and you can change uh, your ranked so you actually see the MMR you are at. Very helpful for in-game uh, rank. I know a lot of you guys have Alpha Console for a long time, but basically Bacchus Mod, in my opinion, is just a better form of Alpha Console. Alpha Console, sorry about that. Um, so you're actually able to show all of the ranks in the game, which is just huge. So let's go to quick settings. Let's just see... Uh, the normal mode let's just see what it does for us so like I said the first one is just a roof uh, it just puts it on the roof for you right so it can get you to practice your dribbles a little bit just putting it on your roof right away and trying to maintain control of the ball so that is good for dribbling um, and now the right pad right D pad will actually pass the ball to you very slowly this is this is one of my favorites uh, it basically sets you up for uh, pretty much anything so you can actually lead this into a uh, past yourself off the backboard so let's try that real quick okay well you know you got to get it to the backboard for it to count there we go you got some speed this time so you're able to get insanely crazy uh, power on those because you know it's coming and you're able to practice realistic touches um, and this is one of my favorites to do while I'm training and warming up because you can just kind of play around and go for crazy touches that you wouldn't normally go for, which is very helpful. Because if you're ever going to hit a crazy touch, you got to start practicing. So going for these is very helpful. And I like to rotate my camera when I do these. And you're going to be able to figure out what you like best. And it's just, it really does uh, make you have great progress. As um, I love the right D-pad on the normal mode. Um, but let's take a look at, as I missed all of them, let's take a look at the left D-pad. 
the left D-pad actually throws it off the backboard for you. So let's bring it back over here. Um, and now let's pop it over. It's going the wrong way on us. Let's pop it over here. So you can actually just jump up and try to read those touches. Uh, so right here, if I press the up D-pad to get it on my head, right? So now it's in front of me. I press the left D-pad. It'll actually toss it off the backboard for me. So I'll be able to practice just going for those um, passes off the backboard. So it's actually very helpful. You'll get some crazy ones every once in a while, depending on where you are on the map. Uh, obviously, the farther away you are, the maybe the more crazy it'll be. But they are realistic touches, uh, realistic hits that you'll get in game. So it's very helpful to get some of these down. I think this is also one of my favorites. Um, I do have a lot of favorites though, so you know, this is right here. It's going to go straight down. So I, this really does help you because it does those straight down as well uh, passes that you know are a lot of the cases in games and just kind of depends on whoever's fastest and more used to those hits. So it's very important that you try this Bacchus mod and you know ch test some of these out because this is so helpful for uh, for pretty much anyone. I wouldn't just stay new people to the game. I mean, this is for new people it might not even be as helpful because this is some intense training. This is very helpful and if you don't know about it yet already, uh, you definitely need to get to it and download it. Um, now we have the down D-pad, which is basically just a pass to yourself. Um, so right here, let's say the ball's over there, I can hit the down D-pad and it'll actually pass it to me even if I'm pre-jumped. It'll be a little bit behind. I don't suggest pre-jumping. I don't know why I did that, but let's give it a go. Right here, it'll pass it to me and I'll actually be able to practice my shooting, which is a cool one. Uh, not as useful as you would think, though, in my opinion. Um, but it does have its use for sure, and I like to mess around with it. All right, so now I think we went over all of these, and we're going to have to go over the next settings here in a second. Let's check it out. Let's hit that F2, and we have air dribble mode. And let's go through all of these real quick. Uh, the air dribble mode, the down D-pad will roll it at you. Uh, I don't know if it, did it get applied? Or are those the same one? Let's see real quick. Yeah, so it did get applied. I guess the down D-pad is a, uh, it's a roll at you either way. Or up D-pad, my bad. Up D-pad is a roll at you either way. So you'll actually have the uh, same shot on that one. The right D-pad will actually bounce it to you, which is a perfect way to practice air dribbles for your first time. Um, and then we have the left D-pad, which will actually bounce it in front of you. And you can do a couple different things with this. Uh, this is another one where you could probably do uh, air dribble or you could go for a boom. Well, that didn't really work out for me, did it? But uh, you can go for a... That's not what I was looking for either. But basically, you can go for a boom back wall touch uh, to yourself if you wanted to. Or you can practice air dribbles. This is an air dribble practice mode. So I, I like to try to do air dribbles with these. And just see, uh, you know, how I can make myself a little bit better at them. So let's see what the down D-pad now does. The down D-pad is a roll away from you. Which is perfect for uh, wall air dribbles. I'm not sure why it's going this way. But sometimes you got to rotate your car a little bit. It doesn't like where you're at. Um, this one was way too far in front of me. Uh, let's go back over here. So this is where usually it'll get the ball right in front of you for you. Um, and you can kind of take advantage of this and try to go for an air dribble of some sort. Uh, let's try it again. And obviously you don't need to limit it yourself to an air dribble. You can go for a back, backboard uh, touch as well. This is also one of my favorites for sure. I love coming off the walls, and this definitely improves my wall gameplay a lot. So I would suggest you guys, uh, if you're going to give it a go, uh, try some of these down D-pads on the uh, air dribbles. Those are very, very good practice, and I, I enjoy that myself a lot when I practice these. So it's just a perfect setup for yourself, and you can just practice, practice, practice. It makes perfect. So you got to give it a go. Um, We'll check the F2 again and see what else we got. We got the Python mode now. I haven't actually tried this one, surprisingly, and I didn't even realize I didn't try this now until uh, I saw the modes. But let's see what we got here. So I don't know if Python mode is something you have to 
It's implied. Make sure you have Python. So okay, so I don't even have it supported. So that's my fault. So I'm not going to be able to do uh, Python mode. Uh, but I'm sure that is cool as well. Uh, let's go to wall hit. Three to shoot off right to shoot off wall and up to sh up to what? What is that? Uh oh. So I got. Okay. Okay, so it does do all these different modes. There's different modes to the... That's pretty cool. So you can actually change the modes uh, based on what you want to do. Um, this could definitely be useful. Um, you'd have to mess around with it a little bit, figure out what you're doing exactly, and give it a go. Because uh, you can go for some of these hits like that, and you can go... Yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can actually do with the freeze as well. I know Rumble has a lot of freeze and stuff. And then Pop could be very cool too. It's a little pass in front of the net, which is definitely something that happens a lot in game. So I would uh, I would suggest messing around with pretty much every setting and seeing what you like most because every single setting has has a use. But overall, I want to say that the Akis mod is one of the greatest tools in free play. Um, for sure, and it's just so helpful to new players old players. It doesn't really matter There's something for everybody no matter the skill level you're at so I really suggest downloading like I said and We're gonna take a look at The other settings real quick make sure we covered almost all of them and I do want to show the variance uh, difference um, There is a big difference between each custom training and we're gonna jump into a custom training real quick and show you kind of uh, I'll just click on the first one to show you guys what this is all about. Um, let's see the first shot real quick. So this is the first shot, right? Well, hold up. So this is the first shot. Uh, I didn't really probably do it the way they wanted me to, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to change it to high variance, and we're going to see what happens on this next one. So you notice how it goes lower and higher. Notice the difference in these I mean they're they're crazy differences on these and this can mess up some trainings but it can also make some trainings a little bit cooler you know what I mean it can uh, you know change it to where it's different and unique uh, if you like a different training and you want to try it with these new settings I mean go right ahead I I definitely enjoy it because it does make you you know kind of try something new uh, with that setting it gave you so I'd give it a try um, I like to keep my variance on n no variance and then change it based on the training I'm doing that day. But honestly, guys, this is the best way to get better at free play is going for things you don't know if you can actually do. And testing the Bacchus mod out is one of the best ways to do it because you're able to set yourself up for things that you aren't able to do way more often than if you were playing on a regular free to play where the ball resets every time and you have to. Uh, you know, you have to set the ball up to yourself, and it takes a while to, you know, to get the ball out of their net. And it's just, this is just such a benefit. Uh, I, I can't believe I went without this for so many days, or so many years, really. And I really hope you guys uh, appreciate the video, and I hope you guys take take a moment to really try free play and try the Bacchus Mod free play to see if you guys like, you know, what it does for you. Um, and remember, guys, there is a 100 key giveaway going on in the description below. You can join the giveaway uh, below and take your chance at winning. Um, there's also a Discord in the description below. Uh, right now, it's pretty much just for Rocket League, and you can join that Discord and join a lot of other players, and they're talking about Rocket League and help them out, as there are a lot of new players as well uh, in the Discord looking for some advice. And we do do replay analysis, um, so I, I do hope you guys take the time to check out the Discord, like I said, and maybe get yourself entered in that giveaway for 100 keys, and I'll see you guys next time.